and now for something completely different. Some more running around in the woods. Nah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Up, up and away, my beautiful, my beautiful balloon. What the hell's that over there? Is that the graveyard again? I think it is. Nothing else nearby, is there? Let's try a hard right hand turn. See if we can break out of the loop of locales we seem to have got ourselves stuck in. I'm increasingly noticing that you can turn dead away from a location, attempt to run, you know, completely 180 degrees or 90 degrees even away from it, running what you think is a straight line. The game will subtly turn you back around in a circle so you end up running straight back into it. That is one feature. I know, I've bitched about a couple of them already. There's one feature I definitely do not like. Disorientation and getting lost should come from generally getting lost. Not because the game's turned you around in a circle on purpose. Anyway, yes. So the votes have come in, by the way, and I, for, well, again, not for this. But for whoever the third girl is. I will be cutting out all the sections of me just running blindly through the woods. Because after two rounds of it, you guys have seen, you know, everything you really need to see of the blank canvas of this game. Oh, what is this shit? No, no, this is... Oh, this is all Silent Hill kind of crap, this is. An abandoned wheelchair in the middle of nowhere? No, that's just not on. She won't interact with it. Why the hell are you interact with this? That time this is another thing I was supposed to have discovered as Ruby. Okay, seriously, she won't. I'm not even getting a flash to say this is supposed to be some other girl's. Um... Ah, damn it, what's the word? Interactable, yes. Standing there scratching her neck. Flea bitten child. Well, back onwards through the woods, I suppose. Dumb. Hmm, anything interesting? Don't look like it. So anyway, how are you guys doing? Alright, really. It's very nice. A little strange you couldn't, you know, say that to what's essentially a recording. Whatever. Okay, you gotta have heard the heartbeat that time. I know that made it through the recording this time. Still nothing. Um, I'm running out of commentary. Perhaps I should have uh, edited out all of this business this time around. Anything here? Anything at all? Seriously, anything would do. Anything here? See, if I was one design in this game, I would have put a few more items scattered a bit more evenly around. They tend to be grouped, it seems, in a more or less the same area. And the key locales are surprisingly difficult to actually find. I'm not really sure whether that's a good or a bad thing. Actually, more accurately, it's a case that some items, uh, items, locations rather, I gave my words wrong again today. Some locations are really, really, really easy to find. So much so that you end up, uh, you know, approaching them over and over again. You're actually looking for either something new or something completely different. I had that trouble in Ruby's playthrough, I kept running into the playground without meaning to. And in Ginger's playthrough, I can't find anything except the fields. Well, I wonder if that's a deliberate choice. I wonder if that's why you keep getting turned around. To ensure you don't spend the whole, you know, however long, 
running around blindly. The game was designed to subtly loop you back towards the key area to make sure you would actually get you know, the closure of the story. Which is all very well and good, but it means that if you're actually trying to find you know, all the extra items in the background story, if you're not careful, you'll end up just running round and round in circles in the same you know, small area of the map. The game keeps trying to be helpful and turn you around. See, I'm back at the bloody um, cemetery again. God damn it. Okay, this direction perhaps? I decided this time around I'm not going to keep stopping as often, I'm just going to hold down the run function for more or less as long as I can, just keep going. Until either I discover something. Or Ginger here drops down dead of exhaustion, whichever comes first. But in reality, you know, going around barefoot and whatnot, so she is rather. Should have broken a toe or something by now. Not really a complaint, she's just an observation. Oh, come on, I ran all that way and I've found bugger all. Ah, I see something in the distance. You can tell the key area because they're lit up with a huge white light. He just sort of charged towards me eventually. Now this is different. I damn the freaks there again. But yeah, this is definitely different. I have not been here before. In either playthrough yet. Hey. Excellent. Appears to be a campsite. Okay. Stuff in the shack. Let's get at it. And light that fire, comrades. Holy crap. Is she supposed to be Russian? We're staying the night. Okay, I guess. You have to Ruby's play for everything comes across as creepily sexualized. What's in here? Now that's Carmen, I think her name's supposed to be. Yeah, that's for her. Go away, freak. We don't want you. Hmm, I'll sit down on the boxes, I guess. See what we got. You tell us it's a key area because all the uh, everything gets brighter, the colours become more vivid, and the background of the woods becomes purple or purpler. And yet you can say pomegranate. It was my mother's name. Bonus points if you can guess what I'm uh, quoting there. Remember, Pomegranate Mist is a hue worthy of a champion. Lighting fires. Hope you got your fire safety badge, missus. She's a fire starter. A twisted fire starter. See the freaks running off to get the firemen and the police. You know, tell on us. Well, that was interesting, I guess. Sort of, maybe. Not really. We lit the fire for no apparent reason. Didn't get a text blurb about it. That's kind of disappointing. So what's all this, then? Baseball cap stuck on the end of a fire axe that's been driven into the tree. And again, she's refusing to interact in any fashion. Which means either this is something Ruby was supposed to find before she conked it, or it's just glitched out or something, I guess. Let's have a look at this shack, shall we? It's the love shack, baby, love shack. Nah. Caddy Shack, maybe. Love Shack, certainly not. We unlocked a bonus room, I'm guessing. Anyway, yeah. What have we got here? Can I take anything out of here? Anything useful? That's a baseball bat or something? Or a 
I'll settle for a trowel, stab the freak with him, chance can. See, there she is. Just grab the rake and brain her. Go on, do it. Do it now. There's always a door. A door can be either opened or closed. The difference is me. Mwah. You little vandal. Anything else around here? Anything at all? Oh shit, something's growling at me again. Go away. Go away, you freak. Leave us alone. You don't want to sit on these boxes and warm our, you know, bare feet in front of the fire. Don't need anyone else's interference, thank you. There are things that I see that nobody can. Is that so? You're a freak yourself there, aren't you, love? I shall have a quick scan of the rest of the camp. I say quick. An ambling, strolling scan of the rest of the camp, anyway. Come on, any time today, that'd be nice.